Today, I'm going to be bringing you on a behind the scenes adventure with a Canadian potato farmer right here in Prince Edward Island. But I'm not just gonna show you any potato farm. In fact, anytime you go to a Burger King or Wendy's across Canada, you're eating potatoes from this farm. So, you've probably tasted them before. Now today, I'm gonna show you virtually every single step of the process in growing and harvesting potatoes, starting with right here on the ground. So, without further ado, Let's get to farming. There are 10 provinces across Canada and each one is known for something specific. Most of us know about poutine in Quebec and the Rockies in Alberta, but hardly anyone that I've spoken to knows much about the smallest province in the country, Prince Edward Island. But if today's video is going to be any indication, PEI is known for its potatoes. And that's why today's adventure is going to start right here. That is the world's largest potato and this this is the Canadian Potato Museum. The Canadian Potato Museum is home to the world's largest set of potato-related artifacts. It's a museum that will tell you much more about potatoes than you ever thought you could know, like the fact that there are over a hundred different types of potatoes grown in PEI, that potato farming has come a long way in terms of machinery, and that eating potatoes can play an important part in a balanced diet. And that's probably the reason why I fell in love with potatoes, because there's a billion ways to make them, and they're all delicious. Now coming here qualifies as delivering half an item on my bucket list because I'm after more than just knowing about the history of the potato in Prince Edward Island. So let's make the drive over to one of the most successful potato farms in this country. Hello. You must be Jonathan. I seen you out driving around. Yeah. I figured you were. That's us. Well, uh, this is kind of the end of the line for us. Okay. As far as going into storage. Right. You want to go to the field first? Yeah, let's do that. Jonathan's team grows potatoes on about 700 acres of land. And he tells us that potatoes are planted in May, maintained and kept healthy all summer. And in October is usually our harvest month. This video was filmed in October. So Jonathan is ready to show us how his team harvests potatoes, but first, we need to make sure that we ask the important questions. What kind of potato do you grow so I know which one to pick in the grocery store? Uh, you, the only way you'll find our potatoes in a grocery store is if you buy Cavendish Farms French fries. The easiest way to find Cavendish Farms French fries is go to uh, Wendy's or Burger King or there KFC. And can we get the real truth from a, a potato farmer? Are ketchup chips Canadian? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, Jonathan, teach us something about potatoes that most of us don't know. Here's uh, what a plant looks like. So if you plant a potato, you get a potato, and you get the exact genetic equivalent of what you planted. Now, potatoes also have flowers on them, and when that flower gets pollinated, you get a potato ball, and it's filled with hundreds of seeds. So this is the yeah. fruit that comes off of uh, the blossom. Now, last year, we had a huge drought, that was about average size. And now, you get enough water, it makes all the difference in the world. So now here's the behind the scenes. You've seen us literally pluck the potatoes out, but obviously potato farmers don't pluck individual potatoes out of the ground with their own hands. They are more advanced than you think. So let me walk you through how a potato harvest works. In order to harvest as many potatoes as possible from his land, Jonathan's team has three main trucks. The first one is always in the lead and it is called a windrower. Its job is to separate the potatoes from the soil in each row and it can speed up the harvesting process by working on several rows of potatoes at a time. Now, if you noticed before, the potatoes actually grow in little bunkers of soil, so it would be impossible for big trucks to find all of them if they weren't moved into plain sight. These guys kind of bring everything together, windrow them together, so when he goes through, he's, uh, he's picking up three rows, but he's actually picking up 13 rows worth Got it. of potato. The second truck is called a harvester, and the third one is called a bulk box. The harvester's job is to pick up the potatoes that the windrower organized, filter out the dirt from the potatoes, and then shoot those potatoes out into the bulk box. The bulk box, as you can see, only has one job, and that is to transport the potatoes from one place to the next. That's about 60,000 servings of french fries. What's even more amazing is that we're not just seeing an average potato farmer, we're seeing a big farm who makes potatoes for Cavendish Farms and for Lay's. And now you're getting to see the process behind how these potatoes are actually harvested. The best part of it is this Allen equipment yeah. built on PEI. Once the potatoes are loaded into the bulk boxes, they're transported back to Jonathan's farm to be cleaned and to be stored. So we're getting the machines up and running now. We're gonna show you how they go into the warehouse. We have to quickly move along. 
because they're putting us to work here. Anytime a full truck comes back to the main storage area of the farm, the team has to once again filter out clay, roots and branches from the potatoes before they can store them in the warehouse. And there are a few different stations to get this done on the front lines, but I'm going to let Mike explain this one for you. So as the truck gets to the warehouse, it'll back up to this hopper, it's dumping the potatoes out. Potatoes get pulled up this, goes through a dirt eliminator. These fingers will pull the clay and dirt off the potatoes. And up here they're sorting it, they're pulling out rotten potatoes, pulling out rocks, anything like that. So only the best potatoes make it off the conveyor belt and along into the warehouse they go. In this room sits almost 2.5 million tons of potatoes, all waiting to be shipped out to Cavendish Farms for French fry making. This storage room clearly can hold twice or even three times the amount of potatoes currently sitting in it and they can last through hot summers and cold winters due to an advanced temperature regulation system. Potato farming really is quite the operation. Now one thing Jonathan spoke about is the lifestyle that he typically lives being a potato farmer. He said that him and his team usually work from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. The crew that goes to the field, they, uh, they're they usually in the field seven o'clock, quarter after seven. The crew arrives at the warehouse at eight o'clock. We got a couple trucks there for them then. Yeah. We start unloading at eight. Uh, we stop for lunch, we stop for supper. Uh, and then we usually run till 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. It's pretty crazy to think the lifestyle of a potato farmer is pretty similar in terms of hours than one that you would expect in investment banking or consulting or, or law or medicine. And it just goes to show these prestigious jobs that we all claim to tend to want to work in are not the only jobs that require a lot of hard work and dedication. Growing these potatoes takes just as much, if not more effort than them. Here's my important question. If you're planting potatoes all the time, are you eating potatoes? All oh time? yeah. Yeah. Yes. How do you usually eat your potatoes? Um, oh, I like French fries. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. French fries so are healthy. Start. It's all the stuff you put on them that's not <laughs> healthy. So there you have it. This video is not just an insight into one of Canada's most appreciated jobs, but also into Canada's smallest province and the people who make it so special and so underrated. Now, all in all, I would say that the biggest takeaway you can have from watching this video is that there is something for everyone here in life. As a finance graduate, all I could think about when I was in university is getting the best finance job because apparently that was all that mattered in life. But if you come out here to Prince Edward Island and you spend a day with a potato farmer, you realize he doesn't give a damn about a finance job or a career like that. All they care about is the job that they love. And that's just what it is in life, right? And I guess in true farm to table style, we gotta go to Wendy's and have some <laughs> potatoes that we just farmed. Coming up next week on Sprout, I'm continuing my cross Canada trip through Prince Edward Island, this time discovering one of Canada's most hidden gems, the world's only multi-floored home that actually rotates and spins 360 degrees. Join me along for that video by pressing the big red subscribe button. And if you've missed episodes from the past three provinces, make sure to go catch yourself up because they're all extremely different and incredible in their own ways. I'm Will, and as always, it's a mindset. I'll see you for the next one.